Why, you're one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen, and that's not saying much for you. That was then. This is now. You're one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen, and that's not saying much for you. For anyone who's ever wondered what it must have been like to see the Marx Brothers live on stage, the Goodman Theater is currently recreating the experience with a rare revival of the Marx Brothers' big Broadway hit, Animal Crackers. Hello, I must be going. I cannot stay, I came to say I must be going. I'm glad I came, but just the same, I must be going. La la. Animal Crackers was the Marx Brothers' third and last Broadway show. It opened in 1928 and was made into a movie two years later. But the now classic film was a truncated version of the stage musical. Goodman's revival uses the original George S. Kaufman script with music by the team of Burt Kalmar and Harry Ruby. It's based on the play and the, and the musical more than the, the film. I mean, there's a lot of scenes that are in the film that are in the play, but there's a lot of scenes that are in the play that you never saw in, in the movie. That's a fish, and no one's a fish, no fish. The big challenge in reviving any Marx Brothers vehicle, of course, is finding a cast that can portray the famous troupe without resorting to caricature or camp. A fish, the flush, the flitz, the flutes, the flitz, the flutes, the flitz, the flutes, cut it out! And for the Goodman production, the plum role of Groucho went to veteran actor Joey Slotnick. I'll stay a week or two, I'll stay the summer through. Slotnick has had a diverse career on the stage, on television, and in films. But even though he bears a strong resemblance to the great funny man, playing Groucho was not on his to-do list. I've always been a Marx Brothers fan, but someone asked me the other day, I mean, have you always wanted to play Groucho? And no, I mean, it never came into my head. Why would I play Groucho? To complicate matters even further, in Animal Crackers, Groucho plays Captain Jeffrey T. Spaulding, the great African explorer. What, from Africa to here, $1.85? That's an outrage. But Groucho, of course, always really played the persona he perfected. When I spoke with Henry Wishcamper, our director, the first time, I said, you know, I'm not an impressionist, and I don't do impressions, but I mean, I have to, you know, physically embody him and, and what I think what he sounds like to me, and then a lot of me, you know, a lot of Joey. But we must remember that art is art. Still, water is water, and east is east, and west is west, and cool is your president. And if you take cranberries and stew them like rhubarb, they make a much better applesauce than prunes do. All right, now, we got to take that picture down and put this one up. No touch. In the role of Chico is character actor Jonathan Brody. And in one of several new twists, Harpo is portrayed by a woman who's used to playing clowns, Molly Brennan. Brennan is a member of Chicago's 500 Clown Theater troupe. But the Marx Brothers also had a sidekick who was the butt of Groucho's many jabs and jokes, Margaret Dumont. Now with this insurance policy you are provided for your little one and for your old age, which will be here in a couple of weeks now. Dumont always played the clueless high society matron, and legend has it that she really did not get many of Groucho's jokes. In Goodman's production, the role is taken up by Aura Jones. Captain Spaulding, Rittenhouse Manor is entirely at your disposal. Well, I'm certainly grateful for this magnificent washout. I, I mean, turnout. I didn't want to do an impersonation of Margaret Dumont. You know, I couldn't anyway, because part of what makes her so effective as a foil is that she often did not understand why some of what she was doing or what they were doing was funny, and I couldn't, I couldn't really impersonate that, and I didn't want to. Jones has had a distinguished stage career and has been praised for her intelligent interpretations of many dramatic roles. But she says the death of her father several years ago forced her to reevaluate a number of things, including what she wants to do on stage. I love doing dramatic roles, but it is really fun to laugh. It's really, really good, and these days I think it's necessary. Tell me, dear, why am I so romantic? The movie version of Animal Crackers kept only a few of the musical numbers from the stage version. The Goodman production brings back all the original songs, along with a few written for later Marx Brothers films. Three little words, eight little letters, which simply mean 
And for those who may wonder what relevance an 80-year-old slapstick musical might have to our 21st century life, it should be remembered that the movie version of Animal Crackers came out just as the Great Depression engulfed the world. Because there are so many challenges that people are facing in the world right now, we are in a war. Our economy is tanking. There are all kinds of uh, dramatic issues out there from health care to education to what have you. There must be some place in the world where you can, where you can physically just release and laugh, laugh your head off, laugh till you cry, and have a fabulous time doing it. And that's what this entire piece is about. Animal crackers just might be what we need on the road to recovery. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Eddie Arusa.